Sarge? Yes, Wycliffe, what is it? Well, I'm, uh, learning the piano. Learning the piano? And I suppose you want to go and practice, eh? On the floor? Yeah, no! Yeah, no! On the side? What you've just heard was a clip from the 1983 Monty Python movie, The Meaning of Life, in which English actor Michael Palin portrays a sergeant for an army who would rather be anywhere else, and some sound bites from a character in Skip Limited's Chibi Robo Plug Into Adventure, whose story is similar in nature. When you put the two side by side, they do sound very similar, almost as if this Chibi Robo character's voice used samples from the movie. But is this really the case? Luckily, I was able to get in contact with the staff member who worked on the game to find out the answer. But first, I had to do some research. For a bit of context, Chibi Robo was released on the Nintendo GameCube in Japan in 2005, with the rest of the world having received it one year later. In this game, you play as a small robot, designed to clean the household of the Sanderson family. It's while you're doing household tasks that you start noticing weird stuff going on. For instance, when the humans are either not around or asleep, the toys in the house come to life in a sort of Toy Story fashion. When you reach the foyer, you'll come across an army of egg soldiers. These are later introduced to you as the Free Rangers. It's the Sergeant of the Platoon, aptly named Sarge, that uses the voice clips in question. The game has a ton of dialogue, and while the characters are speaking, instead of using full-on voice acting, there are clips of voices being used at random. It's sort of like Animal Crossing speak, only these clips are more easily distinguishable. These voice clips from the various characters in the game all seem to be unique in their own right. However, people over the years had pointed out that at least one of the characters sounded familiar, as some could have sworn they'd recognized the voice while watching the Monty Python movie. I'd honestly have to agree with them, especially when you cut it up to try and make it sound like Sarge's voice. Yeah, no! Up and down it! It's not uncommon for some game developers to sample parts of other media for their own usage in their games. One popular discovery came from that of Undertale, in which one of the main bosses, Sans, uses a repeating sound effect for his dialogue. It was found that his sound could have possibly been ripped from an episode of Spongebob Squarepants, using Patrick's voice saying the word maybe. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Maybe it maybe. But of course, I'm here to do my own digging in the Sarge. Seeing as how there was only one team member, Hirofumi Taniguchi, who was in charge of not just the music, but also the sound effects for Chibi Robo, I would have to find a way to get in contact with him to try and get some answers. It took a bit of searching, but I managed to find a way to talk with him online. So, using my best Google Translate skills, hoping that my message didn't somehow get lost in translation, I asked him about this theory. All I could do now was wait. Part of me felt like I wasn't going to get an answer. I mean, a guy from the United States asking a Japanese composer a question about a game from close to two decades ago? There's a chance I wouldn't hear anything back. But surprisingly enough, I got a response back from Mr. Taniguchi the next day, which when translated, read, I don't know much about it now. I have some recollection of doing the voices of many characters, but I don't remember which ones. Granted I knew that he was the only one in charge of the sound effects, as Skip Limited wasn't a very big game company. But already, his recollection of voicing a large portion of the characters was something that I hadn't anticipated. Curious, I continued to ask if there were other characters who could have been sampled if at all possible. His next response was very interesting to me. If there is an interesting character played by an actor, there are times when we imitate it and record the voice. Providing the Google Translate is correct, it sounds like Sarge possibly wasn't sampled at all. Rather, an imitation of the sergeant from the movie was likely done by Mr. Taniguchi himself. If that's the case, we at least now know the mystery behind Sarge's voice acting. Mm. But still, most of the voice clips sound an awful lot like the movie clips. Yeah, it's a piano! Yeah, no! Practice, eh? The say? You remember when I mentioned that people had discovered that at least one of the characters sounded like it came from the skit? Well, see, there's another character, 
or characters I should say. The Free Rangers, the soldiers who enter the Sarge, are also at least heavily inspired from the soldiers in the movie. What would you rather be doing? Still feels like there's something missing though. Rather be at the pictures, I suppose. Wait a second. Be at the pictures. And I suppose you want pictures, you Alright, now let's bring that pitch down. Cheers, you cheers, you No way. Wait a second, wait a second. So, what am I getting at here with all this? It seems that even though a lot of the game's voice acting would have been done by Mr. Taniguchi and possibly some of the other staff, there are at least two instances where it sounds like characters in the game were actually sampled and then altered. To be fair, Mr. Taniguchi had said that he didn't exactly remember everything that he had done, as this stuff was done quite a long time ago. Considering the nature of the voices, it would be legally acceptable given that it would only use a handful of short clips from the source audio, on top of also being edited. In fact, sampling throughout other various mediums have been commonly accepted, not just in games. This also isn't the only time that sampling was discovered within media produced by Skip. If you watched the YouTube channel Did You Know Gaming, you may have seen their video on Skip's first released video game Giftpia, which has songs that play from a variety of independent Japanese artists, one of which sampled an episode of South Park. The company has done a lot of interesting stuff, and honestly there are more topics I could cover on their games. If you want to see those, let me know in the comments below. I continued to chat with Mr. Taniguchi for some time, talking about Chibi Robo and how I wish there could have been more games like the first one. I really valued our conversation, having realized by the end of it that I was actually talking with someone who had worked on a game I grew up with. Whether or not they sampled this voice, or mimicked it insanely well, I still think it's a pretty interesting discovery, and I hope I was able to shed a little more light on this rare mystery. With that being said, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and peace.